pushing the type of scam through digital communication in order to obtain personal information such as usernames, passwords, credit card details, or other confidential information. I'll explain how phishing works. Hacker identifies the target and researches the victim. Hackers send the targeted legitimate looking email. But the victim opens the email containing malware. Then the hacker uses ACES to steal data from victim's computer or network. So this is how phishing works. How can this scam be prevented? Use antivirus software. Keep your browser up to data. Never give out uh, personal information. So keep your devices up to date and always check your accounts regularly to make sure that no changes have been made without your knowledge. And never share your information to email that asks for sensitive information about you or your company. Phishing emails have risen in number and have got a lot more sophisticated. Jessica, an independent cyber security consultant, explains how they work. They play on your trust and they use a front, whether it's a bank, a friend's name, or someone you expect communications from. And they put urgency on you to try and worry victims into responding. Chris says he was fished only recently when preparing for a conference in Las Vegas. I had 30 things in order from Amazon being shipped out to this hotel in Vegas. The week I'm leaving the office is a wreck and packing boxes, running back and forth, and I get this email that just says, one of your recent orders will not be shipped due to a declined credit card. The email looked convincingly like one from Amazon. Chris clicked the link and it opened up what looked like a real Amazon login page. He started logging on until he looked up and saw the address in his browser was from a Russian website. It wasn't Amazon.com and I go, whoa, I just got fished. The email was for two things I'd never ordered. It's a lesson I tell people if you hit the right emotional triggers at the right time. Anyone can be a victim of phishing.